Grace here. Today we're reading The Very Impatient Caterpillar. Is it time yet? By Ross Birch. This is my son's favorite story. You can see as I turn the pages that some of the pages are very used. This is one of his favorite stories and I hope that you like it too. This is an accelerated reader book which means that it does have a test and here's the quiz number. The Very Impatient Caterpillar. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're going to metamorphosize. Meta what now? Transform into butterflies. Right, right, I knew that. Wait, you're telling me I can become a butterfly? Yes. With wings? Yes. For real? Yes. Wait for me! Now what? Build your chrysalis. Chrysalis. Right, right. I knew that. What? How did you do that? Is it a spin or more of a twirl? Am I a butterfly yet? Ugh. Now what? Just be patient and let nature take its course. Patience. Right, right. I got this. Am I a butterfly yet? No. How about now? No. Now? No, be patient. I have a question. Not yet! You don't even know what I was going to ask. Fine, ask. How is your day going? Also, am I a butterfly yet? No, just be patient. Shh, we're trying to metamorphosize. Okay, okay. Obviously, I know this, but do you know how long this takes? Two weeks. Right, right, two weeks. Two weeks? Oh, what am I going to do in here for two weeks? Can I get a comic book or something? What if I want a snack? Hello? Two pizzas, please. My address? A chrysalis. Click. Hello? Hello? How long have I been in here? What if I need the bathroom? Anyone want to play a game? It's still day one. This is taking four Ever. That's it. I'm feeling metamorphosized enough. Look out, world. Feast your eyes on this beautiful butterfly. How do I look? Transform. Time to spread my wings and fly. Flap, 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 flap. Where are my wings? Splat. Time for a new approach. Okay, you can do this. You can be patient. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't be patient. You are the little caterpillar that could. I am the little caterpillar that couldn't. Get a grip, you can. I can't, I can't. You can. I can't. You can, I can't. You can, I can't. Can, can't. <laughs> Arguing with himself in his chrysalis. Day one, I can be patient. Patience is all in the mind. Be one with the chrysalis. D. 
Deep breath in and out. Look, day six. I am doing it. Just be patient. Just be patient. Day 11, or day 10, day 11. Two weeks later. What's gonna happen? It's been two weeks. You know, I do feel transformed. Starting now, I'm going to be way more patient. That's great. Hey, where are you all going? We're migrating. Migrating, right, right. Wait for me. I hope you enjoyed our story today, The Very Impatient Caterpillar. Teachers, I use this book when we talk about the cater caterpillar slash butterfly life cycle. Um, I also use it, you can use it as a social lesson to talk about being patient and that things take time. And um, I like to use this, especially when kids are struggling with a skill that someone else has already mastered. Uh, for example, blending or having all their letter sounds. One kid has it, the other one is still kind of struggling to get there. We have a conversation that not everybody goes at the same time, that we have to keep working, that we have to wait, different things like that. You can also use it um, to talk about waiting in line to get a drink at the water fountain, waiting your turn to get something. There's, there's several different ways um, my favorite way to use it is to teach the butterfly life cycle. Um, they really like that this book is kind of an animated. Um, I've talked about this in some other videos, but I like to pair a fiction with a nonfiction book. So this one has some qualities, of course, that go into teaching the butterfly life cycle. But after reading this kind of fun story about it, then we would read the facts about it and the kids could see real pictures of butterflies and real pictures of the stages of the life cycle. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a great day. Bye.